One day after the fire in Yaomate that claimed five lives, seven of the 40 people injured in the blaze remain in critical condition tonight. Among those in serious condition is a seven-month-old baby girl. Initial investigations suggest the fire doesn't involve arson or criminal element. Jackie Lynn was at the site earlier today. <laughs> We're still sleeping. I cannot breathe inside the room. The harrowing moments when New Lucky Building was engulfed in smoke and flames at around 8 a.m. Wednesday when many were startled awake. The fire raged on through the 60-year-old building. Some tried to flee for their lives through the podium. Don't be afraid, workers from the nearby construction site told them. The workers also helped the residents get off with a ladder. Authorities continued their investigations into the cause of the blaze as the building remained off limits overnight. The charred aftermath of the fire. These residents who lived on the eighth floor recounted the terror during their frantic escape. I'm very nervous because I'm holding my baby. Go down. It's all of us. Yeah, so many smoke. When I open the door, main door, then after you know, see the fire. Baby, will baby sleeping. Baby sleeping, and then after pick up baby and uh, run run away from the eighth floor. You know. Then after. It's been one day after the fire was put out and the building remains cordoned off. Residents are allowed to return to their flat to retrieve their belongings. Care teams arrange registrations for residents waiting to get back to their flats or hotel rooms. Marks of firemen prying open doors of apartments during rescue efforts. After the blaze was doused, volunteers from the fire services department and other groups assisted evacuation work, door by door. The volunteer representatives said they will help residents repair and install locks in their units. According to initial investigations by the fire services department, the fire doesn't involve arson or criminal elements. But the building's department said it issued a directive to the owner's corporation in 2008, calling on it to upgrade some fire safety provisions to meet the latest standards. They include the use of fireproof material around the fire doors. It said the building still has not followed the order. New Lucky Building also houses more than 100 subdivided units. The building's department received seven related reports over the past three years and issued orders to restore the units to their original state. Authorities also remind people that when they encounter a fire and if there is heavy smoke, they should stay in their flat and use wet towels to block the gaps around the door edges. Jack Hillen, TVB News.